Hello everybody, this is Forget Me Not and welcome back to Fran Bo. In the last episode, we got through the magical land of Thursta and somehow made it back to all reality, which we learned is one of five. And in this episode, we're gonna finally try to get home. And with all that said, let's get to the video. We are in chapter four, part one, my imaginary friend. That is where we're starting off. And yes, I'm wearing a cosplay because I've decided it is officially tradition in my channel to try and cosplay one of the characters in the game I'm playing for at least one episode. The, the, don't forget doesn't count. Hello. My goodness, the door opened. Wow, interesting. Come on, Mr. Midnight, let's find out where we are. Let us do that. Hello, Fran. Oh, goodbye, door. Oh, Fran, I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look! I think we are at the other side of the bridge. Do you remember? The one we tried to cross before we fell into a thirsta. Yeah, the one Remor the Goat Demon destroyed. Yes, I remember. Great! Let's keep on going, Kitty. We have to be careful now. Oh, Glitty, look at this! Are these my pills? Wow! But where are they going? This is a trap. This is a trap. You know what? Before we fall for the trap, something I want to do is read the book because i promised i'd do that last episode so i want to do that now uh use the book i found myself hunting the truth but finding the unexpected i found what my senses couldn't show me i found the truth i found the truth that relays silently in the unknown leon castillo one of thousand and yes it's castillo i'm hispanic i know how to pronounce the names my name is leon I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I was never fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects, and even though I'd never got a response, I never quit. If you are reading this, maybe it's because you were looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. December 17th, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. Can you see? This sounds like chapter one. Cry because it hurts. Oh, oh, that was said to us in chapter one. December 19th, 1875. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remor, Prince of Darkness. From the fifth reality, it talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its existence. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom inside my head. January 13th, 1876. I can see myself around. The other me tells me lies, talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants me to commit suicide, just like chapter three. He smiles while pronouncing the words, kill yourself. Trigger warning, I should have said that in the beginning, yikes. And I've tried, hypnotized by his words, but there's always something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. Hell yeah. January 15th, 1876. I met a shadow. For the first time, it talked to me. Their race is called the Kamalas. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies, and it said, We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of the human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining and it walked away from me, leaving a black, oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. January 16th, 1876. After seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night, I encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transformed into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. If thirst awaits, all the locusts must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. There's the locus and the key. February 2nd, 1876. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Remor from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. 
I was thinking that Thursda may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Veloka's invitation. Since I saw the Velocus, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. March 13th, 1836. I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things I've seen, but he didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most people. I wish I could find a friend just like me. Because my son, he thinks I'm insane. July 25th, 1876. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws because they are not only laws, but also behaviors. Chemical behaviors, natural laws. Without those behaviors, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm while dying. Yikes. November 11th, 1875? Huh. Time skipping. Last night after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside in the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. The bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creature. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue, and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as platelets and white blood cells, but at a very high speed. Well, there goes Palantris. Palantris gifted you with some of his magic water. And it's, 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 it is indeed blood water. So, November 20, 22nd, it does 22 TH, which is weird, 1876. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house, big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Mr. Midnight, what are you doing cheating on me? Beings from the Thirsta are varied, from roots to giant insects. Roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. Oh, look at that, their language. The Great Velocus is the beginning of the first reality. Primeve. Light. Velocus shield. The Velocus body structure is quite different from ours. They are made out of photons and sound waves. They are also both male and female. A hey, intersex! Non-binary. When the younger reach age 299,792,459, they're crowned with the shield. Dang. Zr, Zir, Z. I kept. Me I noticed editing the last video. I kept messing up his name. Zr, Zir, creation, creation of the Great Velocus, King of Athersta. Second reality, life. So there's light, and then there's life. February 13, 1877. Being in a thirst stuff feels like becoming what you can't understand on Earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off the tree, and the water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. Pandora, creation of the five realms of existential existence. Free. Splash free. <laughs> Resides in the human world. Third reality. Earth, Mars, and Jupiter. Consciousness. Practice of will. Consciousness. Practice of will. Synercity. The end of vibration, when both ends of opposites are the same degree. Resides in the third and fourth reality. Death. Is that supposed to be like the twins? Mabuka is the end of light. There's three more. March 25th, 1877. Mother Mabuka is letting me go. I spent 15 days here in Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love. Is e it feels like love is everywhere and in everything. I enjoy crying. I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. No date recorded. I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. I had to become friends with them or, to be more precise, become one of them. Luciferns gather in filaments. That's why they look like they're growing hair and the big face is mostly for communication purposes and to scare their predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. October 2nd, 1878. Gravity collects particles to create new ones. It's creative force, and with creativity, evolution is inevitable. And then they have these pretty pentagons, and that's it. And no, I'm not reading all the things that... <laughs> Franz dialogue, because I don't have the time. 
wasted like 10 minutes on this thing. Okay, so we've gotten a little more context about all the stuff we've seen so far. We learned about Mabuka and Remore and Mr. Leon went through a lot of the same stuff Fran did, but worse and more. But let's hope we turn out okay, unlike he probably did. Okay, let's get the pills. Okay, here we are. Home! How handy. Home. I guess home is in that direction. Pills? Don't move! Ugh. You want to show me the way back home? Ugh, no stitches. Yeah. Okay, you get on the other side of him, buddy. I'll grab him. Ah! Oh, that actually scared me. Yikes. Oh no! I shouldn't have touched the pills! Bad friend! Bad, bad! Guess what? We have trusty bloody knife. Use the knife with the net trap. Woo! Look at my girl go. Dirt faces all around. Uh, hi. Fran, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. Hold on, no, I want to get my papyrus voice right. <laughs> Fran, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And as I see it, you are not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am It's Word, your faithful friend. Oh, I miss this voice. And now we ha we have met It Word, the mysterious It Word. It Word? Do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I'm the creature of the night. We've been playing together. Ooh, it's, it's gonna be hard going between those two voices. I hope you get Mr. Midnight back, you see? Really? Huh. I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see? But that's because they never looked into themselves. This is getting a little uh, suspicious. <laughs> what do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. Oh, don't go Freudian on me! Don't go Freudian excuses on me! But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear friend? The long man with the top hat. I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. That didn't, that didn't seem right, whatever. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary, you see? I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar. Yes, I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. Mm. Alright, you seem nice. I'll go with you, but I won't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now. I have something to show you. Oh, hello. Uh, he is quite suspicious. I like to think of him as Papyrus, but he's really a lot creepier than Papyrus. He, he's like a mix of Papyrus and the villain from Princess and the Frog. The, 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 I only watched the movie once. I don't remember his name. I'm sorry. The music was really good, though. And the villain was really good. I don't know. Hello. Behold the Itward. <laughs> Behold the Itward flying machine. What do you think? I love it. I love it. It has many buttons to push. Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I take, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I fix the details, because if not, 2.35 yet. That sounds great, but what is it about 2.35, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower, and that gives us a chance to enter the ultra reality. Inside the ultra reality. 
We can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we are standing on the endless limits of the second reality. Oh, I thought we were home. Home is the third reality. But you are part of the third reality. So, do you understand? I keep mixing my papyrus voice and my old man voice. Maybe they're one and the same. Who knows at this point? Yes, I do understand. It sounds insane. But sir, should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? Wait? Of course not. You can help by getting water and fire bears, alright? Alright. It's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great! Here's my amazing hand bucket for the water. Handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. Yes. Ah, and the fire berries. You'll realize which berries to pick up because of the fire. Alright, but sir, can I just ask, why do you need the berries in the water? Ah, well, the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The Kamalas. Oh, Kamalas. I see. I hope they don't come around the flying machine. We never know. But we do know that they don't like water, yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Here. Don't enable her! Invisible to my, invisible to my eyes? Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills it. <laughs> I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes, about that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap like in one second. <laughs> anyway, I'll go get the fire berries in the water. I'll be right back. Great, I'll be preparing the machine. Okay. So with that voice done, I forgot how hard it is on my voice. Let's go looking for water and fire berries. Okay, there's the sign. We're gonna have to take the pills, aren't we? Here we go. Oh, hello. Hello, are you the shiny insect that gets stuck on trees because of curiosity? We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You are not one of us. I met some of your kind before. I helped them to get free from curiosity. Ah, oh, that is very nice of you. Curiosity can lead to unexpected situations. Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We are just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, this is amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Bye. Okay is over here. Oh, hello, dead thing. Hell no! There's the fire berries up there. Hell? Well, I don't want to go there. Get out! Get out! You are trespassing on my territory! Huh? Excuse me, I thought you were dead. How can you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me? Rotten and bloody? I think you are misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? But I'm not a moose. I'm a deadly worm. Excuse me? A deadly worm? No, no, not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just give back to the soil what the creatures took from it and don't need any more. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Oh, hi. Down here, creature. Can't you see me? That's so disturbing! Oh, there you are. You're so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask, why did you touch the moose in the first place? Yeah, why did you touch the dead moose? Normally, only scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fire berries. I see. I think it is possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. Oh, gross. The fire berries are on fire. You can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire, but I have to take them somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Okay, here I go. I can't take the fire berries. They're on fire. Uh, can we use the trusty knife, or do we have to get water first? I can cut the berries off the tree, but they're on fire. Okay, okay. I get it. I have to get down and find some water. Ugh. How annoying. Hello, what are you? Wow, so much hair and so shiny. What is here? 
Oh no. I don't like this. Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty fresh flesh. Hmm. You're the Kamalas, aren't you? Can you talk? Hello? Oh god. Ew, I look completely deformed. I wonder if this friend is really me but from some other place. Who took you here? Or is it me visiting you in the other reality? Oh, I didn't want to see any of that. Oh, that was all disturbing. That was gross. Gotta find water. Gotta find that sweet, sweet moisture. Is there anything over here? Anything. Of course! Now there's water. It didn't look like there was water. It just looked like a freaking cliff. Use it with bucket with the water. Oh no, I can't reach the water from here. Are you kidding me? I don't have anything to reach the water with. Can I cut a vine or something? I wonder how long it took for this tree to grow. Do I need a rope or something? Oh, rope from the, the, the net. Maybe I can get that. Um, I don't see any rope. Crap. I'm probably gonna have to cut back. Oh, night, great. Ooh, use the water bucket directly with the hair. I need help, please. Would you allow me to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to our hair? Why? That sounds insane! Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your beautiful long hair as a rope. Please help me. Alright, we'll help you. Tie the bucket real tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. There it goes! Okay, I'll take it back now. Take it back now, y'all. The bucket is now full of water. Oh, thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is somewhere we all wish to belong. What does home belong somewhere? What? I'm sorry, I didn't really understand the question. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are your own home. Thank you. Welcome yourself inside. You will find many doors to open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Bye. Okay, click. Yes, the bucket's full of water. Doesn't weigh anything. Time to get the fireberries. Climb up, Mias. Get out, scavengers. It's me, sir. Can I climb on the moose again? Go ahead. Okay, da 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 do. Use the bucket with fire berries. Take bear. Gotta cut the berries off. Cut the berries. Woo! Cut the berries. And now I have the berries and the water. Get down from here. Hallelujah. I wanna see what he says, but I ask him this. Deadly worm, sir, will you come to visit me when I die? I always come to visit those whom time has left behind. Don't worry. Don't worry. That sounds good. We'll see each other again when I'm very old. I'm about to turn 11 years old soon, but that's not too old, so not yet. I'll see you when the circumstances are right. Ooh, implying that I will not die of old age. Let's change out here, because I do not... Want to see the Kamalas again doing that particular thing? I have the things! Can you find the fireberries in the water already? You need them for the journey back home! Ugh! Do I have to show you? Sir Itward, here's the bucket full of water. Here's the bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the Lucifer? They are mice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow, burn me? Well, I haven't been into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there? Maybe the worst you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, friend. You're welcome, Itward. Now, I give you the berries. Sir, I brought the fire berries, but they're not on fire anymore. Magnificent! They will do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. Ah, oh, Fran, it's 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. Let us please. 
Hurry in, Mr. Midnight. Get in. Get in, get in. Okay. I'm not... After all the time, I'm not gonna leave him behind. We have a great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? Maybe I would be excited if I could understand more about the realities. You'll soon understand. The answers are not easy to recognize. Uh, soon, but why not now? Time goes as it has to in order for you to be alive. If it all happened now, you'd probably explode! Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what I'd rather say? Through time, you have to explore and experience to understand. This means the answers will come when you find them. Not when others tell you how or where to find them. <laughs> People use walkers. Ah, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You woke up my curiousness. Not to diss on people who use walkers, I use walkers a lot. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. But now, Fran, we have to get things done. Talking won't take you home. What things, sir? The machine needs some maintenance, and I think you would do incredible work. Here are the fire berries and the water you gathered before. Thank you. You'll need them to get the water pump working and fuel me. You'll find all the information you need when you enter the room to the left. But feel free to enter any room you wish. I'm quite busy fixing the automatic drive. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. Uh, mm, but I've never done anything like this before. That makes it more exciting. Have fun, my darling. All right, I'll go now. I like how people on Fran's side tend to call her my darling. Like Mr. Midnight and it would both do it. Maybe I should push the button to open the door. Woo! Hi, Robo Kitty! I love you! Let me click you! No! Oh! He won't let me click him. Okay, what's this say? Reality view? Ultra reality view. Chemical mixture. I'm gonna have to come back to this, aren't I? Okay. Fibers of the AFM. So you put AFM into. AFM and A. Okay. N N166 goes into a bucket to make R15. And you put the R15 and the AFM in together to make A18. We also put the RF R15 into another bucket to make 2PF. And then you take the A18 and the 2PF and you put them together and that makes fuel. Okay. Reality and ultra reality? Interesting. Okay, so the AFM goes here. What do you have inside, little bottle? Uh, AFM goes here. Fire race that on on fire into the base. Ready? And the R, no wait, the N one six six goes in there. R fifteen. Oh crap! No, there. No. What do you have inside, little bottle? What do you have inside, little bot? Oh! Blue hose ready to use. This pink hose may be good to connect somewhere. Hold on, this one I gotta recheck. You gotta put the stuff together. Okay, blue hose goes from R15 to A18. Pink hose goes from R15, well, goes from the blue wire to 2PF. Okay. So, do I combine these two? Let me try. Nothing, of course. Use this here. This one doesn't fit here. Let me try. Use here. Okay. So, does that mean this is the one that goes here? Oh, pink hose on the spot. Oh, I need another hose. I need another hose! Look at this mess! Edward doesn't know about hygiene! Do I have to go looking for another hose? Probably do. Oh! This hose seems to be damaged! 
Okay. I'm gonna go looking in the other room for the more supplies. Okay, I'm just gonna ask you. Sir, can you tell me again what I'm supposed to do? Ugh, get the water pump and the fuel. Follow the wall, you will. It's like a manual, but on the wall. That's funny. Ooh, ooh, here. Okay, this requires to be sideways, needs a match. Uh, the wire to be plugged in like that, and needs water. Ah, uh, it's in French or something. Or like pseudo French or something. I like it. Well, that needs water. Pump is not filled with water. And trusty matches. I can't turn on the fire, there's no gas. Go. Let's try it again. I like how they play the lit match though. Boom. That's lit up. That is lit. I'm sorry. Okay, I just need to find the other wire or whatever. Oh, you need to light it on fire. You need to light on fire. The R's, the N166. Just be turned on. Yeah, how do you turn it on? Let. Maybe I like that one with a match. There we go. Oh, you can drag it. Oh, I feel stupid. No, no, no. Uh, put the R15 here. Now I'm gonna look over the formula one more time. Cause I'm so busy with everything else. Okay, R15, 2PF, A18. 2PF. A one eight. A one eight. There you go. TF N one six six. That should be right. Oh, let me check the pressure from the fire berries. Okay. Blue left well blue right, red left. There you go. That should be everything, right? You guys aren't moving. Something is wrong. Okay. Do I have to... Oh, I have to look at it in the ultra reality? Is that what I have to do? Oh, I don't like that. Seconds and minutes... Seconds and minutes and hours and days. 525,600 minutes. Tick tock, tick tock. I forgot to understand you. Okay, I just like to look at this now. What do you have inside? Really? That didn't do anything either! Do I have to check this off? Let me see. AFM missing! I'm done with this. What am I doing wrong? Okay. I have AFM, A18, 2PF, and R15, and N166. All of its. Oh, is it not connected to the other bottle? Oh, do I need to connect it? Do I need to find more things to connect? Do I need another wire? Oh my god, this is frustrating! Maybe there's something in the ultra reality. Oh, great. You have the key, though. Give me the key. Oh, little key. I wonder what it's for. Are you- are you here to kill Itward? Hello? Why don't you talk to me? I'm very sorry for what I did. I hope you can forgive me. Okay, goodbye. Let's put the- oh, there's probably something I need in here. Put the key in. Use the key with the keyhole. Oh, a movie. In a world made of darkness and light. Two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm. But none of the sides could decide if what they were if what they were was just right. Mia was angry and Clara was sad. And this was because they both were mad. Oh insane little girls. Hey. 
inside of their minds. Itward, the creature of the night. He came always around in dreams or reality. Teaching girls the splendor of duality. But they couldn't understand. Itward was a friend. Edward was the link between darkness and light. He was gray. But Clara and Mia one day decided to get rid of Edward once and for all. Die, creature of the night, die, they said. But they killed each other instead. Dead and gone. Sisters kept complaining about each other. It's all your fault, Clara. It's all your fault, Mia. Then Itbert came to visit for the last time. And he said, You are both trapped. In the world is disconnection. I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. They sewed your bodies together to prove that they could. They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have. And just one tiny little chance understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. You have until the day a black cat goes missing. And the well's magic door is unlocked. The end. I don't know. I don't really want to trust it word after that. Is that it? Oh my god! I need to find a hose! Oh, I don't like this. Really? That's all you do? Okay, this duct tape is always good to fix stuff. Okay, I will go fix the pipe. The hose. Maybe then I can use it? Great, it's fixed! I should give myself a hug for being so clever. Okay, that's on. Great. What does that mean? I will not lie. I peeked at a walk through. Peeked. Just to see what in general. There's another hose. In the other world. I just didn't see it. A hose! It has a sort of connector. Where's the missing part? Okay, that's it. That's all I freaking needed. Okay. Oh, that's why nothing's actually happening, because... There we go. Now, things should be happening. Right? Right? Oh, I thought I had it. Let me check in here one more time in case I missed one. Oh, oh, oh. I think I saw it. I think I saw it. Here? Yes! This looks like a green octopus hose. Finally! <laughs> See, walkthroughs aren't that bad. It, they just helped me realize that those were there. I would have been here another freaking hour before I found those. I think it is done! Super Chemistry Master Frambo! Okay, is that it? Do we? I think it's done. It's burning quite a lot. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Okay, hi, it word. I did it. And I finally managed to pick the up. Fran, I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Do you need help? I think 
I managed myself quite well, too. I did you all you asked of me. Very well, Fran. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask you if you're afraid of rabbits. There is a little rabbit in one of the rooms, and I'm... I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to help me get rid of it? A rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all things I've seen, I can't just imagine one kind of rabbit. Is it a chocolate rabbit, or one with horns and killer eyes? You have to see it for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. It's just sitting there, no blinking, no movement, it's staring all the time. It does sound very scary, sir, but show it to me, otherwise I will never know. Brave you are, dear. Follow me now. Okay, then. Blessed be upon us, dear Itward. We have made it to the next part of this. Hi. And voila. Oh. There! See? It's just sitting there. Isn't that a strange behavior? Maybe the rabbit is scared, and that's why it won't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare touch it. Alright, sir. I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. Hold on. It's wearing red, and it's sticking its arms out. I can't see it because the edges are so blurry. It's, it's not really doing all that much. It's just hanging out. Okay. It is kind of creepy, though. It is a little bit creepy. Just a little bit. See, it's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. No, you're right, Fran. There's nothing to be afraid of. Hey, no! What's the go, Mr. Midnight? This is not funny! Lock me in a friggin' room! Not cool. Three. The, okay. It's clearly a puzzle. It's an escape room. I must escape the room. This. Wow, the button made the floor rise, like an elevator. Oh, it's coming back down. Whoa, mechanical arm, are you alive? I think it likes to push buttons. Na nuts and bolts, so I never know which is which. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think this is a wrench, it can be useful. Fake it word. Mm, hello, are you with what's other head? I like the hat. What? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Let's look at the other reality. Oh, hi. Now I know what you were scared of. Oh, a mechanical rabbit. It's not very cute. Maybe the rabbit is angry or hungry or both. Okay, so let's take some carrots. Mmm, tasty carrot. Ooh, ooh, I heard about an achievement. You can get it feed this five. Okay, it's a big, big robot rabbit. Okay, I've got to figure out what to do here. See, the farther I get into the game, the less I know what to do. Lovely little tree. Why did you scare it, word? Anyway, you're very cute. Oh, wait. Nine! It's not five, it's nine! To the left! Eight to the left! Green leaves. Eight to the left. Well, eight to the right. So one is eight to the right. Two... Oh, two's behind the rabbit. So you can't see it until you give it another carrot. Two is five to the right. E shake. Shake. Maybe I should write this down. Okay. I don't have anything to write with. Eight to the right, five to the right. Eight to the right, five to the right. Eight to the left. Eight, five, eight, six, eight. Nine. Eight, five, eight, six, nine, 
That probably looks the opposite direction for you, but for me, it's the right and left. Yeah. Eight, five, eight, six, nine. Eight, five, eight, six, nine. Eight, five, eight, six, nine. Okay. So I got a passcode. Oh, why did you scare me, Edward? Oh, it keeps changing costumes. Once, sometimes it has a little ducky, red ducky thing, and sometimes it has pants. Okay, now I gotta figure out what to do. What does this button do? Oh, that pushes the arm, brings this up. Oh, hello. Yes, I found a battery. Oh, now I can uh, wrench this. That's bolts. Wrench, use, use, wrench. Yeah, I gotta put the battery in. Okay, that one came off. Great. That was unnecessarily complicated. Oh, you drag it! I'm dumb. Okay, we got the battery. Use. Battery placed, then yes, it works! So what do you do? This looks like a small ventilation swirl. Cables that connect with each other. Whatever, it does something. Yay, feeding the robot rabbit. I got an achievement. I'm happy with that. Okay, so now that that's all, let's swirl this. Oh, so now I can be here and press this. Booyah. A bu bu booyah. Not booyah. Mommy, daddy? Are you? Mommy, Daddy, who did this to you? I don't remember taking more pills. I came up here without pills. Oh, oh, oh. Eight, five, eight, six, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes! I've seen these on movies. The thief always knows what. It bl glitched out on me. I didn't see what else she said. Screw it. Oh, dear darkness. Uh... Ah! Surprise! Surprise, Fred! Happy birthday! Oh, a birthday party? Whoa! I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight! You lied to me! You lied to me! We lied to you in order to keep your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. Alright, thank you, Kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Edward, sir. The cake is made of all ingredients you like. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And we have something very special for you from all members of the ship. That means all of us naturally born or handmade beings. Here you go. I hope you find it educational. It's uh... Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead, open it. Okay. I, I love the line natural born or handmade beings. So, so inclusive. Oh, hello. It's a dolly. Wow, a cat doll! Aw, thank you so much! I love it, it's beautiful! It may give your eyes a new perception, you know, like the ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like some explanations? Yes! Yes, please! I have not had nearly enough of those! Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, in this exact coordinate of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra-reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, 
dinosaur or just invisible to the human eye. It's because of time humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you, under do you understand what I say? I'm not sure, sir. I think maybe. I feel a, I feel a bit dizzy. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That may be the ship going up and down. Blow on the candles now, dear. We are about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to get home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we are about to arrive. Really? Wow, how exciting. All right, here I go. Oh, it's dark. No, those are bad noises. Oh, no, 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 no. Zoom. Oh, dear, what's happening? Mr. Midnight, are you all right? I'm all right, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There is one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it fast. How do I do that, sir? What? That cleans the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Oh my goodness, Kitty, I'm scared. Me too, my friend. We have to find the Kamala. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. Let us go. Oh, there you are, buddy. Do I have water? It could work if I have water inside the bucket. Okay, then let's go here. Again, some water. I can't take water from the pump. The bucket doesn't fit inside. Ugh. How do I water? There you are, you bad thing. You're destroying our ship. Edward said you're dirty and I have to clean you up with water. Where to get water? There's water in the tank. Pump is not filled with water. How do I get the water back in the bucket? Seriously, this is the only water I have. <sighs> Gotta have to cut out again. Yes. Found it. Yes, victory. Oh, let's not waste it. Use water. On the Kamala, victory is mine. Woo! It runs. Do I need more water? Uh oh. The bucket is gone. So I gotta go up to the roof. Ha boom. Now I get to use this thingy my jiggy my bomb. Ow. Water for some. Please don't move, I have to pour some water on you. Music with the wind? Keep a water thrower. This is a massive and dangerous weapon. Oh my god, how do I use it? I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. I'm sorry. Itward, sir, we did it! The Kamala is gone! It's 
gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We are going down! No, please don't tell me this! It's not fair! Not fair! I will always take care of you, my dear. She got someone to protect her. She got someone to protect when she attacked. Oh, finally, these again. And the ship was going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. the town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you would be happier about it. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Edward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I took all the pills already, you see? The bottle is empty. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe Edward will come to me someday. Aww. A red bicycle. Is it Edward's bicycle or mine? Anyway, it's broken, so I can't ride it. I would need Edward to fix it. He had a lot of tools, but he's gone. Aww. So we're out of pills. Aww, it's a cute little town. Oh my goodness, this is our street, Kitty. Hey, street. Yes, it is. Screw it, let's just go home. I am tired. And here we are! This looks much more gray than I remembered. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to s Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Aunt Grace, hello! She is a tall child! Maybe she's- Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? No, I don't have it, Kitty. But I know there's a hidden key somewhere. I just need to remember where. Mm, let's find it. Let's try the classics. Oh, I'm sorry, little insects. Don't run away. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Ah, oh, no key. What's this? A note? It says, I took the key. Signed, Fran. Fran, that's me! Kitty? Oh, that's the window to my room. The curtains are waving like a flag. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems that I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it? That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now, in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Oh, all right then. Wish me luck. You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. Go, go, my beautiful boy. Get in there. Woo! Now. Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. Oh no. No! No! Dr. Deer! Fred, 
I can't believe this. You are alive. Where were you? Dr. Dearn? I'm fine. Please, don't take me back to the asylum. I've been looking for you for a long time now. How did you escape? That's none of your business. Leave now, please. Why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window of the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight? Isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you were here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fred, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He is inside. He will open the door any minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. Uh, I don't like that idea. No. Stranger danger. Bad touch. Oh no! Kamos and Velocus! They're all over the place! Sorry, friend. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, friend, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Oh. Let the newspaper know about Fran Bo. She was found in the woods frozen to death. She went away from home after finding her about her parents' murder. Martin and Lucia Bo Dagenhart were found earlier this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hayes Street. In investigating police officer Marco Holma said, It seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were not, unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. Uh... Y'all... But I am not dead, sir! This is all lies! I see that! I also found out that your medicine was switched! You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplomatin were too high! Hey! Predict did it! That can't be good. Ectoplomatin creates a door between the subconscious and the conscious. The problem is, if the ectoplomatin is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fred? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also travel into other worlds. Ultra reality? That must be the consequences of duty, nothing more. That is not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fred. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I mean that you are imagining things, that's all. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Oh, did your father harm you with his knife, Doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I, I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true! Oh, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses? Oswald? Who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents, and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in the thirst set with Pelotris and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fred, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Pelotris, and ki my kitty is all alone. Pelotris? Itward? Please, Fred. Pelotris is the doctor of Thursta. He is a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. Seems you've been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father, too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. 
Two girls in the asylum that claim to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you are misunderstanding, sir. It's Itward. But what happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you could help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Palantras was right about you. You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight! Oh! Pew, 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 pew! Badass one-liner. Here we are. Here we are indeed. But this is a cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Uh... I don't like this. I'm going back in the car, buddy. Ooh, a crowbar. A crowbar! I hope the doctor doesn't mind if I take it. Car seats are quite comfortable. Glad it's not real leather. It's more friendly. Can't be good to press all the buttons. That's the same stuff. Okay. Uh, let's... Uh, Weeping angels. This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. I did not want to see this, sir! I'm sorry, Grant, but things are how they are. Your parents are, were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence, we need to open the coffins. All right, sir, I'll help. Maybe the deadly worms came already. Who? Anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left and you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes, right here, all right? Yes, Dr. Dean, I'll see you soon. He literally wants me to dig up my own parents' graves! That's not cool. It's not cool, man. Go here, it's a door. Oh, stop! This must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. Use the crowbar. Oh! Shh! You have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio, I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant! Don't be scared, I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I can see you because I have very thick eyes, you see? Oh, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Kinky. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deadly worms wanted it back. So we're looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. All right, giant miss? But where will I ever find that? Uh, all right, I'll see what I can do. Back to the car, back to the car. For the kinky leather. The seats are made of pleather. Da da da. Use the knife to cut a piece of leather. Whoops, what a big hole. Well, what a big hole I made. Well, I have the leather now. Okay, let's go. Back to the pine cones for the mating ritual. The piece of leather with Sebastian. Sebastian Bassy. <laughs> wow, thank you, Giant Miss. Our tribe, the Pinesy Loos, will be happy. And now I'll open the door, just a second. You know, I actually met J. Michael Tatum. J. Michael Tatum last month. That was fun. Oh, Sebastian. Ouch! Are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? 
Oh, thank God. I, I'm all right, miss, yes. Good, well, thank you. You opened the door. I actually meant... Sorry for... Oh, wait. You're welcome, giant miss. Uh, Fabio? Fabio! Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. <gasps> okay. But, yeah, speaking of Sebastian, I met J. Michael Tatum in this dress. That was fun. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's nothing in here I could use. This is not wonderful at all. I need to find something to dig with. Well. Oh, hi. There you are, friend. Look, I found just a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Oh my god, you really want me to dig up my own parents' grave. Aww. Martin Bow, Lucia Bow Dagenhart, Fran Bow Dagenhart. Oh, lovely little bear. You must take care of my parents. Little candle, keep my parents warm. Fran Bow, huh? One who came up with a lie like this one. Mommy, well, this is very hard, knowing that you're not around anymore. That really makes me feel lost in the world. But I promise I'll do my best. I'll be happy, Mommy. Hello, Father. I know that you didn't choose to leave me. So I'm not angry at you anymore. But I miss you a lot. I promise I'll be happy. It isn't fair to be sad all the time. I thank you for all the beautiful memories, Daddy. I'll love you forever. Aww. Here, here. I, I want to do something real quick. Use the matches with the memorial. Aww, I laid in the candles! Okay, now, now I'll dig up the grave. Digging up the grave, digging up the grave. Well, now we'll have to come up with something to open the coffin. <gasps> they're stuck. I had a crow. Oh, they're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in the case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, Brand, but you can do the honors of opening the coffins. All right, sir. I'll open them. You're asking me to op to pry open my own parents' graves with a crowbar. Coffins can't be opened. The bullets are stuck. Oh, hi. Oh my goodness. Father, the deadly worms took your eyes. Oh no. Oh mother, you're so skinny. A bit too much, I would say. Oh. <gasps> Woohoo! I'm not in the coffin! Great! But that can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight is home. <gasps> Poor kitty. I wonder if you had a name. Well, I'll name you Albert. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this. Seeing my parents like this. Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Friend, I told you. Your cat was missing. And maybe this one actually is your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. All right, Brad, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Oh my gosh, no, Remor! 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 No, he took the doctor. Then to the hands of darkness. You have no manners! I'm not afraid of you anymore! I've taken away from you the light, the one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. No! Let me go! No! No! Leave me alone! You evil, evil thing! God, chapter 5, The House of Madness! No! Ending it here! Oh, God. No. Oh.
Oh dear, okay. Chapter 5 is the last chapter. Next episode is the last episode. So, holy crap. I mean, I'm, I'm filming it, like, right after this. Because, actually, um, uh, by the time you guys watch this episode, probably, yeah, by the time you guys watch this episode, I'm going to be moving back to my college dorm. So, I'm getting a sort of backlog filled up. And, yeah. Wow. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me anything you want to tell me. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. Tell me if you liked it, word. If you thought my papyrus voice was too inconsistent. Tell me if you liked the cosplay. And tell me if you want me to actually continue doing that. Because I want to continue doing cosplays for certain episodes of every show. Every Let's Play. So... Oh. Oh my god, I can't believe the next episode is the last episode. Yeah, I, I'm just stalling at this point. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, I already said the like, comment, subscribe. So, with all that said, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget me.